Hi, my name is Louisa and I'm a health educator at Maine General, specializing in harm reduction. This series of presentations will cover specific injection related injuries and today I will talk about vein collapse. But what is vein collapse? Vein collapse happens when your vein completely closes up, so it can't be used in an injection anymore. If you experience vein collapse, your vein will likely disappear from sight. You also probably will not be able to draw blood from the vein. A similar thing can happen when a blood clot clogs a vein, which is called thrombosis. If a vein does not bend when you push it, you may be experiencing a thrombosis and you should avoid using that vein because it could unfortunately become fatal. But what even causes vein collapse and thrombosis in the first place? Many factors can lead to vein collapse, including recurrent infection near injection site, trauma to vein and surrounding tissues, and repeated use of an injection site. Drug type and needle sharpness can also cause vein collapse. Drugs which are more acidic, such as heroin, have damaging effects on vein health, and needles that are barbed or dull can lead to vein collapse. Thankfully, you can reduce your risk of experiencing vein collapse by following a few simple guidelines. These include rotating the injection site, injecting in the direction of blood flow, inserting the needle bevel up at 15 to 45 degree angle, using fresh needles for every injection, and taking vitamin C orally. Since the most common cause of vein collapse is repeated use of a single injection site, be sure to rotate the location of your injections. Always inject in the direction of blood flow, which is toward your heart, and try to insert the needle bevel up at a 15 to 45 degree angle. Try not to touch the bottom of the tin when you are loading up your shot, because this could barb the end of the needle. Avoid reusing needles, since they can become dull or barbed even after just one use. At Next Step Needle Exchange in Waterville and Augusta, you can dispose of used needles and receive a fresh needle supply, which will lessen your chances of experiencing a dull needle. You can also work to prevent vein collapse by taking vitamin C orally, which helps veins repair themselves after they've experienced trauma. At Next Step Needle Exchange, we offer a variety of supplies like cottons, needles, sterile waters, tourniquets, alcohol prep pads, BZK pads, and triple antibiotic ointment. These materials help create a safer, cleaner environment for drug use, reducing the risk of infection and other complications. Thanks for joining me today, and I invite you to check out more of our content on Maine General's Harm Reduction YouTube playlist.